The Soviet Union. Well, not quite. The Civil War against the Soviet Union. The Whites versus the Reds. And the Reds today will be defeated in the fastest possible time ever. Are you ready for the fastest speedrun of the Russian Civil War? Part 2. Are you ready for unlimited supply? Because that's a thing, right? Let's go. Soviet Union, regular, historical. Ah, let's go. So not only will I overthrowing Stalin and the Soviet Union, I'll be going down the monarchist path and I will be rebelling against the Soviet Union and I'll be flipping Russia from lovely red to white in the quickest possible time. Can we do it under a year? Let's find out. But first, this video is sponsored by you. That's right, you. You are keeping this channel alive. And to thank you, I'm going to give away five copies of No Step Back. All you've got to do is like this video, comment below saying, I want to be in this giveaway. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I will select one of you randomly, check you've done all those three things. You'll get yourself a free copy of No Step Back. Like, comment, subscribe. You got to be in it to win it. Good luck. The first focus to go for is all the way to the right. Oh, keep going, 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 keep going. Ah! Beaten, but not defeated. How is this even possible? After all the royal family had their heads chopped off, for some reason, the monarchists are still around to fight another day. Madness. And that's what we're going to be doing. In the select entirety of our army, we will move them somewhere around here. This is the easiest way of spreading your supply out with a defense order. And then we'll convert them all. Well, apart from the NKVD divisions, which can't be converted. Double click on those, move those over. Convert all these to the crappy cavalry. And then merge them all back up again and continuously exercise forever. We need at least 10 XP to make this work. Air Force? Nah. Just say Air Force? Nah. And the Civil War will start here. So in that case, we'll build military factories here, here, and here. Great. Did someone say unlimited supply? That's right. Transport planes are currently bugged. Uh, so enjoy this one. Get it while it's hot, and it will give you unlimited supply for transport planes. Why? I don't know, but you'll see. And of course, who needs a Navy, right? Come on. Hoi for Navy. Ha! Ah, that's the joke. Insert laughter track. And the same old construction and all that jazz. Lack of resources, 66%. Oof. Well, transport planes, they're expensive. Beaten, but not defeated. Undefeated. We'll be defeated yesterday, but today we'll be the winners. Unification of the exiles. This allows us to select the headquarters of the Civil War. So we are going to form the headquarters in the middle of God knows nowhere, north of Mongolia, Manchuria. This is going to be the new headquarters of the Russian Empire. Reinforce rate is essential. The war is coming. Okay, supply is still an issue. Let's push more west and southwards. Supply in the eastern areas is not very good. Just gently shift them south and westward. All right, bunch of focuses. The one you want to go for is the national unification. Why? Because it gives lots of fascism. You need 25% fascism fascism when you get to the eyes fear because it needs 25 percent to progress so stack that fascism boys you've got the option here to sell your soul to japan to gain arms for the civil war and also sell your oil to the germans to help you in the civil war we are going to say no to all of these sell our soul for the german empire i think not the national unification embrace the black hundreds which allows us to spread the areas that will become part of the civil war whence we fire the Civil War. In this case, can you see this orange glowing area? This is what we control at the start of the Civil War. Uh, we desperately need to spread this because, wow, Russia, big. Also, don't spend any of your political power because the political power you spend right now is going towards Stalin. Don't want to benefit Stalin. This political power will stay with us. Strangely enough, when you fire the Civil War, you keep all your political power. So, hey, sit on it. The fascists... Youth Union. Oof, that was a tongue twister. 5% fascism. That's the one we want. And now we have the option to spread our borders when the civil war fires. My advice, push northwards to split Siberia in two pieces and then push further westward. The AI, as normal Hoi 4 style, gets confused when there's two front lines. So in this case, everything east we will take immediately and then we'll push westward and that will capitulate the Soviets. All these events that pop up regarding Stalin's paranoia, always go for the top option. Purge, 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 purge. Don't lose any political power. We don't have to worry about these guys because they're all communists. So when the civil war fires, we won't have any access to them anyway. So it doesn't matter. Northwards. Push further northwards. Oh my god, look at the size of that state. Northeast Siberia. And it's a big one. The big ones are really important because they take a lot of time to get over those state territories and move your troops over to them. Usually the infrastructure is bad.
bad too so the actual movement is very 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 slow so grab those ones early this next one here look at this one. Oh, look at this infiltrate siberia and oop next focus we're gonna go for this one meanwhile stalin just purging his own people is this why communism doesn't work anyway push further westward soviet union 1936 has created the first private airline private one of the soviet union get it get it no okay And then start making an encirclement in this region by pushing southwards. So north, west, and then south again. Do you get it? Do you get it? You see where this is going? Never mind. Anyway, so right now we need 25% for fascism. So we need to go back to the top and find one that gives 5% fascism. Ah, there we go. Fascist woman's movement. Women. And again, done. Now we can go for the eyes fear. The eyes fear, the hands do. See this? The event, the second Russian civil war. I hope you're ready. Okay, we're over halfway. This is what we do. Artillery. We don't need artillery. You know what? You can have all of our artillery. Boom. Off you go, Spain. You can have every piece of it. But at the same time, our entire army... You know what? I think I want to make a new division, and it's going to consist of... Ah, artillery. Yeah, artillery. That's what I want. Select all those divisions, and they're now artillery. Even though we don't have any artillery. Hmm, where is this going? Oh, and also at the same time, I also forgot. You know what? Do you want all of our transport planes? Just all of them? All the ones we've just produced? Our low-budget Stalin airlines? No? Don't want them? Okay, I don't want them anymore. Okay. Republican Spain is going to be the first airline. The hands! Do three, two, one, and the Russian Civil War. Boom. Look at that border gore. Horrendous. Okay, now we say, you know what? I've just changed my mind. I actually want that equipment back. And uh, you know when the Civil War fires and you lose half of your equipment? Uh, well, now we're going to get 100% of what we just gave to Spain back. <laughs> this is so stupid. And the Soviets have no artillery. but they, Most of their army consists of artillery divisions. Oh, man, this is so dumb. So the inevitable path is going to be to consolidate power and then to do all your Romanov reconstruction memory. So in this case, you need to go for this focus to progress down the right side to meet up in the middle. This is the fastest path. So be aware of that. Anyway, select all your divisions, all the artillery. Of course, we're not going to use artillery anymore. And we're going to convert these all to uh, a single motorized division. You have a lot of motorized of the Soviet Union. Are you aware of that? Well, you're going to take advantage of that. Motorized very fast. Go very very, very quick. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Anyway, second Russian Civil War, I know. Front line, go here. Push, push, push. Go, go, go. We can slice these guys in half. Give them the generals. And immediately, we'll have one guy here, one guy here, another guy here. Front line, front line, front line. Go aggressive. God, there's a lot of setup to this, guys. I'm so sorry. And off you go. Aggressive. Do what you need to do. So now we get lots of chicken pox inside of the Soviet Union. So we select all these divisions. Give it to someone who's got good defense. Shove it under the field marshal. And then for the most part, just ignore it. There's a few divisions that are stragglers. You can kind of just mop up land. You just want to mop up the east. This pocket here, this pocket here, and then push westward. And also control B to make sure everyone moves forward. Off you go, sir. Partisans rise up so we have more divisions to work with. Even more divisions. Boom, go here. Then another front line, and off you go. Okay, so you probably thought we forgot about the transport planes, right? Wrong! We never forgot about the transport planes. Boom, go here. Spawn the boyos. So you notice here, we're going to have loads and loads of supply problems. Just give it a second and wait for all the land to go red. You see supply here, here, and here. The norm. What we can do with these uh, transport planes is spam supplies. So right now, currently, transport planes are dropping way Way, way too many supplies. That's right. They supply more supply than a supply hub supplies the supply, the supply, the supply. It's just so stupid. Anyway, this division here, look, is out of supply. Oh no, low supply. And then we drop this guy here and do air supply. And all of a sudden, look, green <laughs> with reserve supplies of 13.94. That's a lot of supplies. Anyway, yeah, that's the way that works. That's working as intended, right? Same time, we can go for war economy and prepare ourselves for the future. Now we can start focusing on, uh, let's say, just general firepower. So in this case, artillery and support equipment. You know, the same old, like you're playing any other game of Hearts of Iron 4. Enemy desertions. And we gain more divisions to work with. In this case, we can convert these to uh, this guy's army and then uh, do what we need to do. So it might look like at first, 
Like, you're not doing too well on the front line. But don't worry too much about that. Your divisions are so unbelievably fast, you can just wrap around their front lines. And their divisions have no fighting capabilities because they're artillery divisions that have no artillery. Okay, offensive doctrine is good. There's less org loss while moving. So we can continue the pursuit on the offensive onward. Offensive, go, go, go. Oh no, artillery division encircled. It's almost like they have no fighting capabilities. I wonder why. Meanwhile, uh, probably the worst supplied area in the entire game, this part of Russia, is well supplied because of our transports. <laughs> Oh, God. Why? Did someone say snake? So you're going to get a bunch of these events. Countries will want to rise up and fight against the Soviet Union with you. And in this case, I'd always go with them. Because what's that going to happen here is it's going to create new front lines against the Soviet Union. Therefore, split their divisions up and they're going to spread out all over the place. Plus, we get the ability to annex them later on. So no border gore. Oh, no. Low supply. Move here and supplies. Oh, they're magically all blue. How did that happen? Progress. Look at the speed on that motorized. Just mopping up that territory. All right, the east is cleared up. Ignore the chicken pox. It's sorted, trust me. Then we can move all the divisions from the east to west. Nationalist uprising in the Republic of Ukraine. Yes, 100%. That is a big thorn in the side of the Soviet Union. Uh, Thorn, this side and this side. Oof. Which one's the thorn again? What a mess. Okay, delete all front lines. Field Marshal, front line. No messing around. Easy. Meanwhile, supply issues. <laughs> I don't think so. And low supply here? Oh, no, I don't think so. Boop. No longer low supply. A lovely pale blue, meaning unlimited supply, basically. Whoa, low supply. I'm having none of that. And move them here. And then, ah, blue. Well, some parts blue. Okay, it's already over. We just snake now to the victory points. Stalingrad, Moscow, Leningrad, done. Meanwhile, I thought I'd correct... Uh, the Soviet army whilst at war with the Soviet army. Max entrenchment plus 5%. I don't mind if I do. Hey, hey, hey. Just trucking to Moscow. And that's a uh, ding. And Leningrad next. Okay, we've captured an airport here. We're all low supply. Look at all that red. So transport plane right here. And it's gone to... <laughs> green which basically means there's a huge amount of extra supply in this region oh my goodness this is so dumb i love it victory the stalinization has been complete this is interesting opiates of the masses so the way to get rid of communism is just to make people smoke every day <laughs> and every night i thought your hippie friends would be more into uh, communism oh well all the way around the provisional russian government there we go march 1938 end of the civil war consolidate power and actually form a proper russian government okay we need uh, an absolute crap ton of artillery now Oop. and a crap ton of uh, aa support equipment and we need to fix all these broken factories go with the civvies first and then we build our own fresh new civvies as well what will be the capital of the new provisional russian government now if you give away vladivostok you won't have this option but please don't select this option it's so far away and the railroads are so busted through siberia you'll never get supply anywhere in the west so i'd really not recommend that so in this case we're just gonna go with uh st petersburg that's right it's st petersburg now it was always st petersburg all along give that to all them to infantry and make a nice big full battle line there we go look on fighters we're gonna spam out a lot of fighters give them the bonus the masses of opium gain extra manpower how does opium give manpower i don't get it create an agency and spy on what the uh the germans are up to de stalinization volograd will be a fitting name of Tsarism, uh, Volograd. There you go. Volograd. Volograd. Amazing. Promises of peace and working conditions. Let's get that stability maxed out. I'm going to try something. Let's move every single division to the capital. 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 And then we're going to use air supply on the capital to give back supply. And that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is so dumb. I love it. Classic Lithuanian declaring on Poland for this one core state. Wonder how this will turn out. Incoming Polish Lithuania. Tashe to China. And also some of my old crappy guns. 10,000. Once over. There you go. Okay, this is the template we're going to go with. So 25 width. For the most part, fits into the most narrowest of terrain, which in this case is mountains. Mountain combat width is 25. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. Go, go, go. The return of the Tsar, emperor and autocrat for all of Russia, Vladimir III. 
So let me get this right. So these transport planes are picking up supplies from this hub and then dropping them back on top of my own troops, resulting in more supply than the, what we began with. Right. <laughs> I love this game. The Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. No. Guarantee independence of Poland. Plot twist. Oh, that's really interesting. So it says that Germany's justifying on us. That's not true. They're justifying on Poland. But technically, because we guaranteed Poland, it's classed as justifying on us. And then France has just guaranteed us. Potential exploit for future. Poland refuses the German ultimatum war. Call to arms against the Germans because they have encroached on Polish sovereignty. And uh, the third five-year plan has been disrupted. The picture of Stalin. Right. Okay, we're actually at war with Germany, but we can't actually put any troops inside the Polish border unless we ask for access. Access? Yes, we have to ask for access. Okay. Kind of got a front line now, so Field Marshal front line, hold the poles. Okay. Frontline has stabilized. Uh, if Germany wanted to be really stupid right now, they'd declare on the lowlands. Go on. Go on, Mr. H. Try your luck. Never mind. He's like, no, Denmark instead. Okay. At last, we finally got an economy. Uh, we need way more civilian factories, though. Can we join the Allies? Technically, we're fighting the Axis. Can we do that? Has caused too much world tension. Are you joking me? All we've done is fight our own civil war. What do you mean, world tension? Wow. Fighting for our rightful clay has caused world tension. So disappointed. Go on, Mr. Hitler. Open more front lines. You've got the Maginot, you've got Denmark, you've got Poland. Why don't you open another front line? Maybe Yugoslavia, maybe the Lowlands. Huh? Huh? Take your best shot. I'm actually really impressed with this front line. Um, bit nervous about Poland though, 94%. They lose this capital, it's all over. Here we go. The real war has begun. Three front war, Germany. Ooh, big push and all green outcomes. Oh no, Germany. What have you done? Bitten off more than you could chew? Definitely. Okay, they're attacking. Straight on the counterattack. Let's see if we can gain back a tiny little bit of land. Oh, the AI is doing loads of force attack. Probably blowing countless manpower and equipment. Hungary joining the war to the south. Oh, it's not looking good. All right. Time for railroads. Everything from St. Petersburg to Minsk. Biggest railway possible. Oh, yeah. Air doctrines. They're a thing. Oh, dear. If I could secure Warsaw, it would really disrupt their railway lines. Yeah, Warsaw, then Danzig. At that point, their ability to supply some of this eastern region is more limited. Just make little tiny pushes on the front line. And also, Krakow would probably be a good idea as well. Desperate measures. I mean, agree to disagree. It's not that desperate. Um, I could be in Germany right now, so I suppose... That's not overly optimistic, I suppose. Look at this one. Modify the Russian army. Winter attrition, heat attrition, climatization, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Terrain penalty reduction, 5%. It's like a teeny tiny adaptable. I'll take that one. There's a serious lack of advisors for monarchist Russia. There's no land doctrine guy. There's only one chief of army, which is rubbish. And high command, there's not a single army high command. So if Stalin's purge was one thing, <laughs> the real purge is the, the white revolution. Oh dear. It's like both ideologies are equally bad. <laughs> So we're sitting on a ridiculous amount of political power, so I might as well just spend it then. So, uh, I don't know. Air warfare and uh, air superiority and army drill, construction company and division recovery rate. Why not? We're 100% stability at war. We don't need any more stability. Uh, close air support, air combat fighting, um, artillery designer. There's definitely not a lack of air advisors though. Put it that way. I don't know why it lets me do this, but I'm not in the Allies, um, but I have the ability to build railways inside of Poland. Okay, so five, 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 five. So I'm not in their faction, but I've got access into them. So it lets me build railroads inside of them. Hey, an option to join the allies. Yes, at long last. Oh, thank you so much. What's the odds they're gonna kick us out in like five minutes? Well, hello, hello. What do we have here? A railway gun. Oh, and we can also build airports inside of Poland too. How many? All of them. Logistics. Get me that supply down. Pan-Slavic nationalism. Who wants to join our union of Slavs? No? Anyone? No? No? Anyone? Not all at once. Yugoslavia agrees. Annexes Yugoslavia. Poland <laughs> agrees. Annexes Poland. Anyone else? Bulgaria's in the Axis, so they're just like, uh, no, no option for you, I'm afraid. I knew there was a reason we were holding onto these borders. There we go. There's the explanation. And become a spy master because for some reason, Paradox didn't want to give monarchist Russia elusive gentlemen. So a few less spies for me, I guess. UK's kicked us from the faction. Well, we don't need Poland anymore. <laughs> 
All of a sudden, the Germans have just suddenly woken up and they're like, yeah, do you know what? We're going to fight really hard now. Don't have to worry about Poland capitulating behind me, though. Wakey, wakey. We're about to attack now. Damn, they're really not messing around. Would you like to join the Allies again? Sure, as long as you don't boot me. The German Reich is justifying against us. Um, well, duh. Hey, Romania. Fine. UK has kicked you from the faction. Okay. Attack. That goes nowhere. What's happened to the supply? Low supply everywhere. I think I'm taking advantage of this. Immediately after we occupy them. I was going to send them into the factories, but I realized I'm not communist anymore. Okay. Local police force. Ooh. Would you like to join the allies again? Uh, okay, this is a new one. I'm in the allies, but I have the ability to declare war. Let's see what happens. Join the Axis. Good. Hey! AI bumping against the front line over and over again. Not winning. Just losing countless amounts of equipment and manpower. Deja vu. I've asked all the puppets that broke free during the Civil War if they want to become puppets. Um, all of them say yes, apart from Ukraine and Dagestan. <laughs> okay. All right, Ukraine. We will make them submit. Push! Allies. Anytime you want to attack. No, not kick me from the faction. Oh my goodness. Allies, attack. Do something. Integration of Poland. Gain cause on all of Poland for 150 PP. Oh, what a bargain. Just a heads up. Uh, don't take it from this video that this division template works. Uh, this division template is a slow and gradual grind. Uh, you're not going to make any good breakthroughs with this division. I think tanks are the way forward, guys. Hey, my boy. Logistics wizard. Thank you. Oh no. Railway gun. Where's it going to go? There's actually... Oh, there's actually one railway line here. I thought for a second, it was like, hang on, where's the railway line? It's like, is this railway gun floating in midair? It is now. Floating railway gun. Is it? We capture it? No, it's just parked. Apparently there. Still owned by the enemy. Our troops are like, now. Nah, we'll just leave it. <laughs> Germany. Goodbye. Liberation of France. Hey, bye Bulgaria. And hello, Czechoslovakia, your cord and Bulgaria's cord. Need uh, control of Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, of course, please. Oh no, traffic jam. How do we fix this? By me, just coming through. And boop. And it's magically blue. Well, mostly blue. But we want to up the railways as well. Uh, hang on. I didn't capitulate Italy. How dare you? Anyway, I guess we're taking all our cores, I guess. I'll hunger as well, just as a little path directly through the center. Regardless, we're almost done. Integrate Yugoslavia. Three, two, one. The Slavs have been united. Um, Sov integrated Czechoslovakia flag. What? Um, okay, uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of wizardry in the back end here. This game has no bugs, and I did this completely legitimately. Declare the Pan-Slavic Union. Boo! The Pan-Slavic Union. A union of all Slavs. Amazing. Why does it have to be this dark, menacing color? It's like I did a bad thing. Having once again assumed the mantle of defender of all Slavs, Russia has decided that the best way to do that is to include all Slavic peoples into a single nation. With that unification at last accomplished, Vladimir III has now announced the formation of the Pan-Slavic Union, vowing that all resources available to the new nation will be brought to bear to benefit the people and protect it from outside threats. United. Slavs cannot be beaten. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, guys, type in the comments below. United, the Slavs cannot be beaten. And the comments section will be unbelievably confused. Guys, I love you. Goodbye. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. My videos require countless time and resources. If you want to contribute into editing more videos in future, the link to Patreon is in the description. If you could give just a dollar, that would massively help me out. Thank you.